Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. I'm gonna try this and see if it works. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, sub, share, do all that stuff. Okay, on with the video. Um, so if you guys have been paying attention to the whole railway worker strike thing, you know that the agreement that they came to was tentative. Um, I'm not going to try to fear monger or anything here, but it's exactly that, it's tentative. Apparently, there's 10 or 12 unions that are a part of this possible strike, and only a couple of them have actually agreed to this, and a few of them are coming out saying there is no agreement, there never was an agreement, and this is some kind of possibly PR stunt uh, to keep somebody's ratings good right before a certain time of the year when people drop things in a box. But regardless of the results of the strike, deal or no deal, I'm gonna keep on prepping the same as I always have. So I'm gonna show you a little haul I did here. The reason for prepping is so that we don't have to go out and panic buy, so that we don't have to be one of those erratic shoppers going out, clearing the shelves, um, and putting ourselves in uncomfortable positions because we are not prepared and don't have what we need. So just continue prepping like you always have and don't freak out. <laughs> Hang tight and I'll show you my haul. Okay, so here is my grocery haul. Nothing crazy, I didn't go overboard and clear the shelves. I didn't rush out there and get a whole bunch of things because I'm just kind of adding to what I already have now and it feels good. Um, over here I just have a bunch of popcorn just for snacking. Um, I did get some more spam, the generic great value spam, which I do enjoy. Um, hopefully I'll be doing some more recipes on how I make stuff with spam. You can do just about anything that you would add ham to or chunks of chicken to. Um, it's it's good with just about everything. It's not that hard to cook with it, to be honest. And it's $1.98 right now, and so I might as well stock up before it goes back up. <laughs> um, some saltine crackers for my son. He just loves these. I don't know why it's the most plain thing ever, but he loves them. I got another can of enchilada sauce. Um, two things that I love. Mexican food and all types of Asian food. So you'll see from my hauls I have lots of, um, you know, different types of food. But anyway, this is just restocking up on what I've used. A bunch of tomatoes. So when I first started prepping and kind of throughout the time I've been prepping, I get those big cans of Hunt's tomato sauce. These ones, the super cheap ones in a can that you can get from the Dollar Tree and everywhere else, probably the cheapest ones on the shelves. I bought a lot of these, but the sauce is really thin. Um, I'm Italian, I like thick, chunky <laughs> pasta sauce. So I almost always add a can of petite diced tomatoes, the Italian style ones, and or chop up some onions and add it to it, and some fresh garlic. Um, obviously that's if you have the stuff around. If not, this stuff is just fine by itself. Uh, load it up on some more salsa. I go through salsa pretty fast. And then some more of my favorite hot sauce. I like spicy. Really, really spicy. So I always have this hot sauce on hand. Um, liquid smoke. I don't know if you guys have ever used this, but I use this. I'll get a big old pork butt and put it in the crock pot. You don't even need to add any water. Just put um, a couple splashes, a couple squirts of this liquid smoke on it and it comes out like awesome pulled pork or Kahlua pork is what we call it in Hawaii. And then I got some Thai style sweet chili sauce, just kind of re-upping on all my condiments. And then I'm gonna skip over this real quick. Got a couple more cans of tomato soup. It is about to be soup season. There's nothing better than some warm soup or some warm chili uh, when it starts getting cold out and I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, you can eat soup any time of the year, but for some reason it tastes better when it's cold out. Speaking of soup, I did get two more of these Bear Creek Cheddar Potato Soup Mixes. I really thoroughly enjoyed that um, that prepper recipe that I did with the ham and the corn. I really, really liked it, and I kind of want to make that again and tweak it and try some different recipes. So, got a couple more of those. And then back here, okay, so these are these small cans of butane that you can use for cooking with one of those camp stoves. I have a small camp stove that was like $25 or something. I'll link it down below. Best investment I think I've ever made. You can use butane or you can use the small one pound Coleman propane tanks for it. It uses both. But I was buying butane 
at Walmart for like $3, just about $3 a can. And one of you guys had commented probably over a year ago um, to go check out my Asian food store and see if they sell pro uh, butane because it's much cheaper. So I got a four pack for $7.65, way cheaper than anywhere else I've ever seen it, way cheaper than online, Walmart, or anywhere else. So if you have one of those little gas stoves and you need to stock up on the cans of butane, look for an Asian food store locally. Also, they have good deals on rice and all sorts of stuff. Try some new food. I love going to my, lo my local Asian food store. And when I was there, I, I literally just went in to get this, but then I saw these little um, canned things of curry paste. And for prepping, I think anything in a can is a good idea. But I used to buy these little plastic tubs of curry paste, and I just thought having this in a can would be awesome. So I got a couple of those. And it says to add the whole thing. Like if you're making a, a curry meal, it says to add this whole thing with one can of um, coconut milk. But I don't think I'd use this whole thing. That looks like a lot. I'd probably use half of it or a third of it. Anyway, um, over here. So this is kind of me working on my one year of everything plan. You can see I'm using my hands <laughs> when I talk in the background, if you can see my shadow. Um, I want to have a year of all the things that I normally use. So my dishwashing detergent, um, what is this stuff? The stuff that makes your laundry smell good. I don't know what they call this. Fragrance booster. Um, a whole bunch of plates. I got 400 plates. I go through those on a fairly regular basis, so I do want to have some. And they're good to have. If you have a water boil advisory, water issue... Um, you know, the water's just not coming out of the pipes. You're not going to be able to wash dishes. So you're going to need your paper plates, plastic forks, um, you know, styrofoam bowls, that kind of thing. With everything going on, it might just be a good idea to go ahead and look at your normal everyday use items. Toilet paper, paper towels, paper plates, toothpaste, deodorant, soap, shampoo, conditioner, um, razors, shaving cream, all that stuff that you use on a normally basis, a, a normal basis, um, including any over-the-counter medications, vitamins, um, if you have contacts, maybe contact solution, all that stuff that you use that you know you're going to use on a daily basis, go ahead and take a look at it and see how you're standing. See, you know, make sure that you have a three-month supply or so because it's a good idea to have that much on hand anyway. Um, so go ahead and take a look around your house, take a look at the things besides your food to make sure you are up to par. Make sure you have a good supply of them in case things were to shut down, in case things weren't getting to the grocery store or we had some kind of supply chain issue with this whole strike of the rail workers. Just kind of take a look at it and grab a couple extra things if you can afford to. Anyway guys, keep calm and prep on and I will see you in the next video.